Hello friends. Up till now, we have discussed about the fundamental quantities, the derived quantities, the supplementary units, the conventions used for the for writing the SI units. Now, we are going to discuss about the dimensions, and then we will be discussing about the dimensional analysis. Now, what is the dimension? The definition of the dimension is. The dimensions of a physical quantity are the power to which the concerned fundamental units should be raised so as to get the unit of that physical quantity. So the dimension, अभी की dimension ही जो एक definition है, ती मी अभी examples के थे अनि मग मी की definition explain करते. So the fundamental quantity, अभी अपन symbols बनाना रहे. The, for the fundamental quantities, the dimensions sati use hota. So, for length, capital L is the symbol. For mass, capital M. For time, capital T. For temperature, K. For current, I. For luminous intensity, C. And for the amount of substance is moon. So, we know that these are the seven fundamental quantities. So, these seven fundamental quantities have these symbols which should be used for writing the dimensions now we are going to write the dimensional formula for the various derived quantities dimensional form fundamental quantities these are the symbol for now we know that derived quantity depend upon the fundamental quantities derived units depend upon the fundamental units so we would be writing the dimensional formula for velocity now we know that velocity is displacement upon time now what is the si unit of velocity meter per second so now how i will write the dimension of velocity in box bracket i will write uh, the symbol for velocity supposing i write v this is equal to Uh, for displacement, the unit of displacement is meter, and the unit for time is second. The SI unit, of course. So now I will write in box bracket that this displacement. We measure the displacement is the length. So in box bracket we write L. Upon in box bracket we write. T that is the time. So displacement upon time we have represented like this in box bracket because we want to write the dimension. So now here how I write? I raise this. I take the T in the box bracket to the numerator. So I get L to the power one, M to the power zero, and T to the power minus one because it is raised. It is taken to the numerator. Now why is this M? M is for represented for mass. Generally, dimensions of any physical quantities they are written in the form of L, M, and T. Of course, we can we use this K, I, C, and mole wherever it is needed. But at least when you are writing the dimension, you have to write these three L, M, and T, and the powers and their powers also. So this is l to the power one, m to the power zero, t to the power minus one is the dimension, or r. This is the dimension for the velocity. We go for the acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity upon time. We have formula that is v minus u upon t. So what is the unit for acceleration? We know it is meters per second square is the unit for acceleration. Now we are going to write the dimension for acceleration. So acceleration a, this is. Now we write the dimension for v minus u. That is change in velocity. So it will have the same dimension as velocity. So I write the same dimension l to the power one, m to the power zero, t to the power minus one upon time. That that dimension. So in box bracket I will write capital T. Now I have to shift this denominator into the numerator. So I write. L to the power one, m to the power zero, t 
to the power minus one minus one because this one has shifted in the numerator. So we get minus one minus one. So we get l to the power one, n to the power zero, t to the power minus two. This is the dimension for the acceleration. The dimensional formula for force. So we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration. So now how we write the dimension? So in box bracket we like write f. That is the symbol for force. That is in box bracket we write dimension for mass, and in another box bracket we write dimension for acceleration. So that is for dimension for mass is m to the power zero l to the uh, the dimension for mass is l to the power zero m to the power one because it is mass and t to the power zero. This is the dimension formula, dimensional formula for mass. Here m to the power one. Now for acceleration, just now we have found out the dimension for acceleration. That is l to the power one, m to the power zero, t to the power minus two. So now we add these two up. The powers we add, so we get zero plus one, l to the power zero plus one, m to the power one plus zero, and t to the power zero minus two. So we get. L to the power one, n to the power one, t to the power minus two. So this is the dimension formula, dimensional formula for force. Now we go for momentum. We know that momentum is mass into velocity. The symbol for momentum usually we use as p. So in box bracket we write p equal to m. That is the dimension for mass and v. That is the dimension for velocity. So for the dimension of mass we have written the dimension for velocity we have written we have added the powers of both here and in the end we get the di dimension for the momentum that is l to the power one m to the power one and t to the power minus one this is work we know work is equal to force into displacement so how to find the dimension of work so we write w In box bracket, that is F, dimension for force and dimension for displacement. So the dimension of force, as we have found out just now, that is L to the power one, M to the power one, T to the power minus two. And for displacement, we know that displacement is always in meter. So we have L to the power one, M to the power zero, and T to the power zero. So we now we add these two up. So we get the dimension for work as l to the power two, m to the power one, and t to the power minus two. So in this way, we find the dimension for work. Now we discuss about kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, we know it is half m v square. Now remember always the dimension for a constant term like half is there is no dimension. So we are not writing any dimension for half, but we would be writing only dimension for mass and velocity square. So the kinetic energy, dimension for kinetic energy is the dimension for mass and square of the dimension of the velocity. So we get here. Now see here. Here it is l to the power zero, m to the power one, t to the power zero. What I have written here, I have written here only m to the power one. Uh, this is also okay. If the dimensions of the other, like l and t, are zero, then you can write just m also. That is also correct. If you, but it is better you write in this format. Hmm? So m to the power one. This is a dimension for mass and dimension for square of the velocity. So we have here l to the power one, m to the power zero, t to the power minus one. So we are we have square. So we have get. We are get so we are getting l to the power two so one square that is l to the power two m to the power zero square is zero and t to the power minus one square is t to the power minus two so we are we are adding these two we get the dimension for kinetic energy is l to the power two m to the power one and t to the power minus two now we know that the unit for work is joule and the Unit for kinetic energy is also joule. Hence, the dimension for joule is same. So here.
देखिए डायमेंशन फॉर वर्क एंड डायमेंशन फॉर काइनेटिक एनर्जी और पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज सेम वी विल राइट द डायमेंशन फॉर चार्ज वी नो दैट चार्ज इज इक्वल टू करंट इनटू टाइम चार्ज इज रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑलवेज बाय द सिंबल Q सो वी हैव रिटन इन बॉक्स ब्रैकेट Q नाउ फॉर करंट डायमेंशन ऑफ करंट इज I here because n to the power 0 L to the power zero, two to t to the power zero. Hence, see, I have not written anything here. I have just written L, I, and this is t. So, the dimension for charge will be now here. I have introduced because the power for the length is zero. The power for mass is zero. So, in the last, I have introduced. If you not introduce, to be sure, here neither nor he. तरी चले लिहल नहीं तरी चले तुम्हें डायरेक्टली टी टू द पॉवर वन आई टू द पॉवर वन अल तरी चले इट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट बट इफ यू राइट इन दिस फॉर्म वेट एल टू द पॉवर जीरो एम टू द पॉवर जीरो टी टू द पॉवर वन एंड आई टू द पॉवर वन दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो दिस इज द डायमेंशन फॉर द चार्ज नाउ नेक्स्ट वी गो फॉर द वॉल्यूम द फॉर द वॉल्यूम इज लेंथ ब्रेड इन टू हाइट सो वी राइट द सिंबॉल कैपिटल वी नाउ लेंथ For that we write l to the power one. Breadth, breadth is also the distance or the length. So we write it l to the power one. And height also. That is height is also some distance. So we write length l to the power one. So here we get l cube. The dimension for mass and time are zero. Now we go for the density. We know that density is equal to mass upon volume. So density is always represented by the symbol rho so the in box bracket we write rho is equal to dimension for mass upon dimension of volume that is l to the power now we get we shift this dimension for volume in the numerator so we get l to the power minus 3 m to the power 1 and t to the power 0 so some dimensions we have found out just now the rest of the dimension for the various derived quantities and derived units it is now you yourself should find the dimensions thank you